high pedestal. By, meaning, by high pedestal, I mean you come in speaking a lot of jargon, speaking a lot of English, and then you do not progress with time. You've made the judge think that, oh, you're going to deliver such an awesome speech. At the end of the day, you don't do that. So you've flopped. You've not been able to get to that level where you were supposed to get to in the first place. So it's very bad for the readers. You also have to be clear. And one thing that people, um, that you must also know is that debating is not necessarily about the number of points that you give. You could give only one point, but the question is how exhaustive are you with those points? So it's not if you, there are debates that could have, oh, this house prefers a world where we have religion or a world where we do not have religion. Because it's a preference motion, many people fall into the trap of let me give the utilities because I'm supporting. Let me give the disadvantage because I am against the motion. But you can go from A to infinity given a lot of utilities, and you can go from zero to 100 given a lot of disadvantages. At that point, the judge is lost because it's a parallel debate. So it becomes, why is my only point A bigger than your zero to 100 points that you have given? So as a judge, we look for analysis, like how analytical are you when you are giving your points? Then another thing that also happens is how well you respond to your opponent. So I heard Matthew talking about POI, points of information. As a debater, you are supposed to be um, able to think on the spot. So the truth is, you're never going to be able to know what your opponent is going to ask you because you have 15 seconds to listen to a POI. And your opponents will come up with very hard questions. Some of those POIs are called um, they are, they are called them hard case questions. They force you to take a yes or a no stand. And in that case, whether you take any of them, you're going to lose. So as a debater, you should learn how to use fillers. Don't just go to the point and say straight, oh, yes, we think this is going to happen. Because it's like saying, a debate says, let's ban cigarettes. It's harmful, right? Your opponent can ask you, cigarette most times goes with alcohol. So say cigarette is harmful. Do we ban alcohol? If you say yes, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot because then how many things are bad for the health that you want to start banning? I can go on and tell you how meat is harmful to your health because it contains a lot of things that are toxic. So if you say no, then it becomes like your, your double standard that you're hypocritical because you're saying, oh, cigarette is harmful, then you can't buy alcohol. So at this particular point, you're supposed to take a point or you're supposed to start with filler words. We could start by saying, we think this debate addresses the most urgent issues. Why we think alcohol is bad, we think that today's debate centers more on cigarette because